200 miles in five days, no facilities, no ba oh, bathroom, no running water. Hey guys, my name's Ziggy, and I'm out boat camping the barrier islands of the Gulf of Mexico. So jump aboard, because I'm going to take you bastards sailing. The start of the Texas 200. First uh, stop is out at the end of the jetties. It's not a very far hop, but we decided to, we might go say hi there, we might blow it off. We're gonna go to uh, camp number two on day number one. There's a couple of the guys I'm running with here, my buddy boats. They wanna to fish today tomorrow, so they can take a day off fishing. I take a day off watching them fish. So that's our plan today. We're lumbering along. I believe we're all in where we need to be. We're rocking. Let's get out there and do it. So I got both reefs in. So there's not a ton of sail out here. We're already got some good speed. We're supposed to get some 30 mile an hour gusts, 20 mile an hour winds. You can see here, sail's tucked in. Crew's ahead of me, buddy's right there. Got some crazy pirate boat in front of me. I got room to spare here. I got Buddy's cooler right there. That's be gone tomorrow. I'm packed up pretty light here. So we'll see how that does. Because I'm usually overpacked here. So this gets me underpacked. I'm all good. It smells like fish and salt and ocean. This is the start of the 2022 Texas 200. Six days and five nights of the nastiest, scraggiest, barrier island camping crap you've ever been to. High winds, choppy seas, no facilities, no running water, no toilet. You're all on your own. Only thing you have is what you just left with. Many of the boats are home built, all experienced sailors. This is not for the weak of heart or inexperienced. Not all the boats make it to the end. So we have 86 boats, I believe it is, over 100 sailors. I'll put a link in the description on a list of all the boats and the captains. If you follow my channel, you know that this run last year, I was taken out by a storm on day one and ended up with a broken boat and several days in the hospital. And I have 50 years of sailing experience. Weaving through the markers. 10 foot of water under us. out of there about 9 30 in the morning sitting we we're up drinking last night till 12 30 that's not a bad start ah buddy's reefing a sail and i'm not surprised we get over to the other side here up along the uh, barrier the jetty and the barrier island the seas should settle down. Maybe. Right now it's gonna be a wet ride. But not bad. We're only <clears throat> doing like five miles an hour, but we're getting knocked around pretty good. We're the gusts, we're like 30 mile an hour gusts. So I don't want to get any more sail out, so we're just gonna keep down the channel here, get out to the jetty. And then I think a lot of this will get cut off. Not quite sure where all this is out here, but I'm following the rest of them. I got the chart on the GPS. Brutal. <laughs> and it'll get worse before the week gets set. But you're getting up here 
into the uh, jetties and it blocks off some of the waves here. So. The water's settling in. The gusty wind's still a pain in the ass. Ooh, now we're getting up into the sixes. The water's smoothing out. Be behind the land here in a minute, the spoils. That should really get to be pleasant then. Out in the middle it was a little spooky there for a little bit. Not scary, just spooky. Some crazy stuff out here. Still see sail up on Buddy. So I'm assuming he's okay. I know that little boat's working out here. He's got too much sail to begin with. Look at that, the big wolf swells, about the swells, this is nice. My last boat, the 34 footer, I just hit the autopilot, walk up on the bow, have a seat, drink a beer, and enjoy the weather, it's beat nothing. These little boats, you gotta, you gotta work it. Well, here's a gust. Yeah. Man, he's way back there. I'm worrying about him. I bet he's taking a lot of water. He's got very low freeboard on that. He hasn't yelled at me on the radio. That was a little brutal across there. As when we take off and go downwind, it won't be so crazy. Won't be so crazy. Because we do it today. We're talking about going to actually camp number two today. We're over going to camp one right now. We might take off and do camp two. These guys want to go fishing. Maybe it's that way down to up the ICW. We'll see. Buddy might be ready to hang out with camp one. Resort. Because that right there is exactly what his boat's not made for. Amazing boat, but it's not made for the swells and the high winds. He's got so much sail on that boat. It works against you when you start getting these big gusts. Ah, damn, it's blowing. If we leave tomorrow, we're going to have to get a real early start. Well, it's still, uh, it's still pretty calm out. It's supposed to be the same tomorrow as it is today, and it was a real light air today at 6 in the morning roll out six or seven we can get several hours in before it starts getting wild he's there he's going way up he's still got two sails out he's got two sails out Get your ass out here. I'm about to run it aground. And I say he's all right. Because he was way over his head. He'd only have one sail out. Woohoo! Sevens! Sevens! You know, my happy spot is 10. But it's gusty enough. You don't want to mess with that so much right now. Shallow enough. Choppy enough. Not when you're loaded up and such. Right now, here, that's a nice, comfortable ride. Oh, where's Buddy hiding now? I can't curve that far. He's still got sail up. Woo! Now we're chewing it. Seven miles an hour, <laughs> burying an ama. Had to get the B roll of all this shit. Didn't Let's turn around and see what Buddy's up to. Shepherd, man, I'm gonna be running the ground. The wind tinning me in, motherfucker. Come on, there we go. I 
see you. Looks like he's still got the jib out, so he can't be in too much trouble. <coughs> Crazy bastard. I'm in this thing and I rolled in the jib. <laughs> he's moving. Bet he's got a tail from this crossing. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah, there's a couple gallons of water in the boat. He's got shit hanging all over the place up here. He'll be ready for one of these beers when he lands, I bet. I don't know why he's even got the jib out. Me to get to sailing. I'm gonna lose my hat here. Whew, that's better. Alright, let's Let's do a spin here. He's having fun. Oh, he's got momentum now. Here we go. I think he can't get his jib in. I think it's furling jam. Maybe if he can drop a halyard and bring the whole thing in. Yeah, he dropped the halyard, I believe. Pulled it all in. This wind was a little more than his, that jib system is designed for. There he goes. He's got it. He should be good now. <laughs> I might learn some new Cajun words when we get back. I got a feeling we're not doing Camp 2 today either. Which doesn't break my heart. Yes, sir. Get to it, brother. I'll see you at the camp. All right, so I was thinking Buddy was going to drop the figure the jib had the furling messed up so he couldn't bring it in. Well, the guy was saying maybe he'll drop the halyard, drop the, you know, like the flag, bring it down the flagpole, if you will, for the non sailors. And that's looked like what it looked like he's doing, but he got on the phone and told me that the, uh, the block, the pulley at the top that holds the jib, actually broke. The wind was so strong. And that brought it down into the water on the deck. And what we just saw was him pulling it up on the deck. So, actually, if we get up there and get up here at the camp, we can take his whole rig right down real easy. See what we can do with it. But, you know, the winds are going to be so crazy on this thing and everything. He really, that boat's not designed to have a jib. He just added it. And, uh, he could do this trip without that jib fine. He's got, he's got, this, the winds are crazy. He's got too much sail to begin with. He has more sail area on that little boat, that little boat than I do on this thing. So he'll be fine without the jib. Yay! Grab a hold of my ass. See how easy that was? Got her all set up for the time. I'll uh, feel good tonight. Looking forward to it. So it's about 9 o'clock. Actually, it's 9.30 now. But about 9 o'clock when the sun sets, everybody here, they, the beach cleans out. Everyone gets in their tents. They're going to sleep. These people up at dawn. 
Got about 50 boats on the beach here. I did the walk with you. And uh, we drank a handful of beers. Everyone had fun all afternoon. It was a little short two hour, two and a half hour sail. So we had all day. Now tomorrow it's a 40 hour run, 40 mile run, 40 mile run. And it's gonna be, you know, when we get there, it's gonna be, we're gonna work because it's gonna be some 30 mile an hour winds all day. But uh, <laughs> right now we had all day to sit around and meet and greet. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. So I said, every place is quiet in here. Every place is shut down. I came in and uh, fired up a little beef stew. And uh, it's delicious. It was a crazy sail across the bay. It got a little rough. We had uh, we had Buddy had the uh, pulley holding his uh, jib up, snap and break, and his jib came crashing down. Jim, Jim had his whole mast tear off right from the boat. He somehow did some miracle work and got it working. As I looked at it, it looked pretty messed up. You know, it chains holding the bow sprints broken on other boats it's uh <laughs> and, and that's just in this area here i don't even know the 40 boats that way what they had there's some it's got, boats got damaged today it got it got crazy it was fun but uh tomorrow we roll out of the tide the tides howling the got the currents howling out of here we dropped several feet here tomorrow morning it should start coming in and the winds can be same direction it says we're going to be rocking out of here. When we come out of here, we're going to come out of here like bullets, I think. But uh, that'll be the next video. This is day one of the Texas 200. A great day. I'm signing out. Get Wait for another week or so, and you'll get number two there. Like and subscribe so you can do runs like this with me because <laughs> I'm going to take you bastard sailing. I'm breaking the uh, beach boat tour up to a second video to keep them shorter. Mm. And day two gets fast and furious and crazy, so stay tuned, because I'm taking you bastard sailing. See how easy that was? <laughs> ah.